welcome back and welcome to the Dalmont Podcast. If you're new here, I'm so excited to have another episode out today. Today, I am joined by a very special guest. It's my mom. Hi, everybody. I'm so excited to have you on. Are you excited? I'm excited, but a little nervous. Well, I'm so excited to have her on. Today, we're going to be kind of getting to know about mom, what her favorite doll is, what some things that she likes to do with the dolls. We're going to be talking about some doll news with some of your favorite doll brands. And then we're going to be sharing our favorite doll experiences, doll memories. And I asked you guys on my Instagram this past week of some of your craziest, insane, or maybe most special, most memorable memorable doll experience as well so we'll be sharing some of your responses and yeah I'm very excited so I feel like without further ado let's get started Alrighty, so now we're going to be introducing you to my mom so mom do you want to introduce yourself to everyone hi everyone I'm Mal's mom and I love dolls too <laughs> My mom is very supportive of my doll collection because she loves dolls just as much as I do. You grew up playing with dolls. Yes. I never had American Girl doll, but I used to play with Barbie a lot, and I used to play with um, Cabbage Patch dolls. I'm probably really dating myself right now. But um, anyway, yeah, I've always loved dolls, too, and I used to love playing with my Barbie dream house. Oh, you had a Barbie dream house? I did. Girl. Yeah. It was pretty cool. And I had the Barbie airplane. No, you did. Yes, I did. You did. Yes, it was so much fun. Oh my gosh! That's when we got. Whenever we got Julie's bathroom, it just kind of. I just had like a flashback to the um, Barbie airplane. The way it was all folded up and stuff. It was. It was awesome. Mom, I'm a bit jealous that you awesome. had the Barbie airplane in a dream house. Yeah, I did. What's your favorite doll? My favorite doll? Yeah. You're asking me that question in the doll room? Yes, we're I feel filming. I like I'm going to get like, something this. thrown at me. Oh, my like, gosh. No, they're no, not I'm that just, violent, I'm Mom. I'm just kidding. Oh, my I'm goodness. Just, I'm just kidding. My favorite... Well, okay, I'm going to like kind of tone it down a little bit. Um, I'm going to say my favorite, favorite doll is Julie. And I can't help it. I'm just a Julie's fan. Um, I kind of grew up, you know, in the same time. In the 70s. The 70s as Miss Julie. And I just really love Julie. I love all of her accessories. There's still some things that I would love to have. Um, I would love to build a Julie's condo. Oh, no. But, um... I'm not sure that's going to happen, but anyway, a girl can dream, right? Um, I still have a little soft spot for Miss Presley. She um, is, okay, she, for people who don't know, she's truly me or just like you, my American girl number four. She's just so cute. She's got the sweetest little features. Um, and then I would have to say um, Holly over there. For people who don't know, Holly's my be forever Molly. She's so cute. She's just she's just perfect. I don't it doesn't matter what we put on Miss Holly. She just looks perfect. She just she could just, you know, she's just so sweet. So now we're going to be talking about doll news with American Girl, My Life Ads, Ruby Red Fashion Friends, Shadow High, Rainbow High, Monster High, and Barbie. Okay, so we're going to start with American Girl. They had some sales in Zoo Lily this month with doll accessories, outfits up to 50% off. They had this cute little bitty baby bundle where it was like $40, $45.99. And then it was like regular one hundred and fifteen dollars or nineteen dollars on sale. Mm-hmm. So that was a big deal. I'm not gonna lie, we did buy that, didn't we, Mom? Yeah, but it hasn't shipped yet. Right? Yeah, it okay. hasn't shipped yet. I'm okay. like really confused on why it hasn't shipped yet. Sometimes Zoo Lily takes a while to get things, I think. It says that it's not gonna ship until like June. Oh. Well I don't know, it's not that then from the last time we reported we had some new AG items. Mm-hmm. Um, we have Karen's new items, some Truly Me new camping items, like the camper. I can't wait to see that. Oh, yes. In the store. Me too. That's going to be awesome. Then we had, like, the new pet release that happened in April. And then we had some new historical character items as well, such as some new items for Nenea, new pajamas for Mary Ellen and Melody. So very excited mm-hmm. that we got some new historical character items. 
And then I think one of the biggest news that happened this month, or like this past time since I done doll news on the podcast, was American Girl announcing a live action movie for Corinne. No way. Yeah. I didn't know that. I did not tell you. No. Oh my gosh. I'm oh, so, I'm so awesome. sorry. I didn't tell you. Is her little brother and her? Everybody's I think her little it? sister's in it. I don't okay. know about her little brother, Aww. but her little sister's definitely in it. Does her little brother have a name? Just yeah, like it's, do? yeah, it's, yeah, okay. it's, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's B-L-I-X, Blex. It's cute. Oh, he's adorable. I've seen him. I can't wait to see him in the stores, Yes, too. me too. But yeah, I'm really mm-hmm. excited that they're, like, kind of, this may be the start of the Return of the Girl of the Year movies, because remember how they used to do yeah. it, like, Oh, uh, we used to go to time. premieres. We did. Up in Kansas City. We did. It was so awesome. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, that was so much fun. Those are good doll memories. Yeah, so American right Girl, if you're listening, which you're probably not, invite us to the movie <laughs> premiere because we already been to the past ones. We would like, love to go. We need to go to this <laughs> previous one. Where would that be? New York? I don't know where the movie oh. premiere. Well, remember how they used to do it at this AG store? But I'm just mm-hmm. saying, you know, a step up for us could be like the red carpet LA in front of like the big, what's the what's the name? Okay, I'll get my suitcase ready. Oh my gosh, we're already packing. <laughs> Come on, AG. Let's go. Next, they did. This is also big as well. Uh-huh. Uh, they teased something with Molly saying they made a TikTok. They posted it on their reels and their TikTok account saying mm-hmm. Molly has big summer plans. Oh. And then they a book came out on mm-hmm. Amazon. It's Molly's abridged version of her first book. So... There's a lot of speculation that she's going to be That's coming back out. Aww. I think it's very interesting that they're it coming out fun. with maybe her. I mm-hmm. don't know. Um, but, yeah. That would be very awesome because all the little girls now that could be getting into her could could actually get a Molly mm-hmm. at the store now. Yes. Yeah, because yes. it's been a while. Like, it could be a mother-daughter yeah. thing because I know a lot of adults. A lot of moms, yeah, had Molly, had Molly. growing up. Yeah. And now their little kiddo can have one. Oh, yeah. Molly. That'd be sweet. So, anyways, that's kind of exciting if she's coming back out. I think it's very interesting uh, because they're also supposed to be releasing a new historical character anyway in the fall. So, could we get two possibly new historical characters? I know Molly isn't necessarily new, but, like, you know, she's coming back out. So, I don't know. So, that's really exciting. Next, they do have, they released a AG event calendar for the holidays. It's coming out. Very cool. fun. It's like very detailed too. Like it was mm-hmm. like very big. So we're gonna have to get that when that releases. That's awesome. There's also speculation of a new boy Willie Wisher coming. <gasps> the cover oh. on Amazon uh-huh. has a boy on it. And then I guess there was an AG survey uh-huh. that took place last year uh-huh. with a design that had a design of a boy on it. That would so be super cute. That would be really cute. I think a little boy Willie Wisher would be cute. They do need to add you some know? new Willie Wishers, I will That'd have to be say. Fun. With the revamp of it last year that happened. Mm-hmm. I think it's really time maybe for some new Willy Wishers to be joining American Girl because I think that'd be really fun. They're adorable. They I love really Willy are. Wishers too. Next, we're going to be talking about my life. Some new items have finally started to hit Walmart stores across the country. Uh, these past couple months, this past month, really, uh, they had some new outfits and a grill set. Oh, a grill? Yeah, oh, it's kind of cute. How cute would that cute. be? Moving on to Rudely Red Fashion Friends, we had some new France exclusive dolls are available to pre-order, and Ruby Red Fashion Friends is making a fan club doll in honor of their fan club Facebook group, which I'm a part of, and I'm so ex- excited fun. and happy to be a part of the Facebook <sighs> fan group. They're like, it's so much fun because they'll, it's really like, you know, the Facebook people like opinionated because they'll post like it's like every Tuesday I think they post something new it's like which what should our new doll have and like we really get to design like the dress what the doll looks like the accessories Uh, I think they even like did like the face sculpture it's like really really like they really want to make one for the fan club which I'm so excited to see her when it comes out and see what it looks like all together um I think we're gonna have to buy that one (laughs) Of course, yes. Next, we're going to go into Shadow High and Rainbow High. So, for those of you who don't know, Rainbow High is kind of like, it's like Barbie, but like it isn't Barbie. And it's kind of like Monster High, but it isn't Monster High. It's like the same size. I think they're like 12-inch dolls. Um, but anyways, Rainbow High dolls, they're like the, they're like themed of like Color of the Rainbow. And it's really colorful. It's really fun. It's really bright. So, the same brand released Shadow High, which it's opposite of Rainbow High. It's like... 
white and like really dark colors like black and like gray it's like really interesting I'll give them that it's really interesting and it's really fun so they've finally released that and then they also had a pop-up event in LA which was really fun it was like a pop-up shop with like Instagram photos and like it looked a lot of fun I really wish we lived close to LA to go to that because that looked like a ton of fun going into Rainbow High the series four has started to hit stores and then there's a big sale happening right now at Target that features dolls and doll accessories some of the dolls and accessories are up to 50% off right now Mom, do you want to tell them what we did or what I did with Rainbow High? But we bought our first Rainbow High doll. Jet? Yeah, Jet's on her <laughs> way, right? Yeah. She's like literally coming tomorrow? No, it says she's not she's, coming tomorrow. Well, she no, she's I supposed she to be was coming tomorrow. Yeah, that's what they said originally, but then she got moved to Thursday. Oh, okay. Well, she's still on her way. Yes, we're really excited about that. She's cute. Speaking of that, Target also has some big sales. They've done a lot of big sales with a lot of different doll brands this past month and toy brands in general. So if you're looking to get something, I would really pay heavily attention to Target because they have been having a ton of amazing deals. Next, we're going to talk about Monster High, Mom. Oh, sorry. My bad. It's okay. I got ahead of it's all good. It's all good. Uh, the reproductions of four dolls got released this month. Claudine, Dracula, Frankie, and I think Laguna got released too in select stores and then online. They're sold out online and then in some select stores they're still available. Do you want to tell what we did with Monster High now, Mom? We went doll hunting to several of the Walmart stores around us. Mm -hmm. How many stores did we go to? I think we went to six total. Six stores? Yeah. And then on our last store, bam, there they were. Mm Mm-hmm. All of them Mm -hmm. at one store. Mm -hmm. We were blown away. It was an add to cart kind of day. It was. We (laughs) bought them all. (laughs) They're super cute and they were a good price. Yeah. I mean, they were like an exclusive. Yeah. So. I'm so glad that we found them. I'm so happy that you found them too. Because I knew you really liked them. You wanted to find them. And plus I grew up with Monster High, Never After High, and Barbie. I had a little collection going. And this past week, we've been dragging, dragging out the dolls and looking for them um, to find my Monster High collection. And we found mm-hmm. some. Um, there's still some that I remember that I still have that I have to find. Because I want to do a big opening video. And I want to have, like, mm-hmm. some of my Monster High dolls out on the table. And be, like, kind of, kind of one of those, like, cool collection girls. That'd be fun. I think it would be fun, too. People probably love to see the older dolls, too. Mm-hmm. So for our last doll news, is going to be on Barbie. And this is a really exciting. They have a live action movie that has been in the making for years now. Uh, we finally got a date of when that's coming out. And it's going to be coming out next summer. So that's really exciting. That's Mom, cool. we're going to have to go to the movie theaters together. Oh, we're going to have to watch Barbie. Yeah. Mattel, It'll if... be a girl t- girls' night. Oh, yes. Mattel, if you want to invite us to the uh, movie premiere on that one, <laughs> we, we'd love we to totally, come. We totally go to that one, too. Yeah, right? we totally go to that one as well. <laughs> So now we're going to be getting into sharing some of our favorite doll memories slash crazy experiences and just different things like that. Um, do you want me to go first, Mom? Sure. Okay. Sure, sure. So I I listed out three. The third one I can really decide on. I keep going back and forth on it. But I would just like to say this before I begin. I love all the experience that we got to do these past couple of few years with the dolls. I love it all. Um, I can't really pick, so this was such a hard, this was such a hard, difficult decision of picking just different things, so, yeah. Okay, so my first thing is the Toys R Us experience that we had. <laughs> okay, so this that was is, a hoot. this was a story, story time with Mal and her mom. Get your blankets <laughs> and your popcorn, because we're going to be here for a little bit. So it was, we were going to the Dallas store for the first time. So we flew mm-hmm. out of Tulsa, Oklahoma to Dallas, Texas. And so this was during the time when Toys R Us was closing, okay? So before going on this trip, I was heavily watching Toys R Us videos mm-hmm. on different American Girl collectors 
getting the Truly Me dolls on display and getting display dolls from Toys R Us because Toys R Us was cl- was closing down. They were shutting their doors, permanently closed, and they had they used to sell American Girl dolls at some locations. Um, every single location sold Willy Wisher dolls, but then only select few showed the big Truly Me experience, Truly Me dolls and outfits and accessories. And I know a, a couple of them even sold Gabriella too. So I was like really shocked. To- Anyways, so I was like, oh my God, that would be so amazing if I got a display doll, because I always wanted a display doll, and, you know, plus Toys R Us, you didn't get them for, like, the full price, because Toys R Us was closing, they're having a big sale, so you got them for, like, it was, like, benefit sale amount, like, there were, like, like 40, 45, yeah, yeah. there were, like, it was a deal, so anyway, so we went to Dallas, okay, we could, we went to the American Girl Dallas store, so then we had, like, time, it was, like, our last day, and we didn't really know what to do, and I was, like, let's just go to Toys R Us stores, you know, because I was trying to complete my Willy Wisher collection, because they had Willy Wisher stuff for, like, 50% off, so instead mm-hmm. of $60, it would have been $30, okay, and so, my mom and dad, they drove me to different Toys R Us stores in the Dallas area, and I found two Willy Wisher dolls, so I was, like, so excited, I was, like, on cloud nine, okay, so the next day, we fly back to Tulsa, Oklahoma, I'm still on my cloud nine from visiting these Toys R Us stores and getting to go to the American Girl store all in one day, okay, so I was, like, guys, there's a Toys R Us store here, mm-hmm. let's just go, let's just see what they have, okay, so the, we walk in, and I see the big American Girl sign. They had the big Truly Me experience, okay? And they had all the Truly Me dolls, most of the Truly Me dolls in the display case. And I was like, oh, my gosh. I was fangirling back then. I did this, like, really up unhealthy habit of pulling my hair when I got really excited so I was like pulling my hair I was jumping up and down I was going insane okay I was like mom can we buy some truly me dolls and she's like yeah let's do it so anyway so I got some display dolls Mm -hmm. there and it was just so insane it was so crazy I still have pictures of some of the dolls in the display case and I got to keep their like display case like tag number two of like mm-hmm. the number and I was like yeah. one of those like cool girls and then do you want to describe what you did in the back room well how did I even get back there I don't know but like there was Some, this one lady the lady that worked there she I was told like her the what store we were looking manager. for yeah I told her what we were looking for as doll she goes oh we have a bunch in the back she goes you know what just come back here and I'm like what we we're like are you what? kidding me we're going so, to the back room and I'm like she goes just just you, you know. Because she, she didn't she would she didn't want to like a child back yeah, there. Yeah, she it, wanted like it was kind of crazy back there. There was stuff tipped over, kind of messy. So there I was. She goes, you got to be really quiet because if I could get in a lot of trouble for you being back here. So but I'm then like tip topping like... around, and then I hear some other people, and then I'm like, I gotta hide. So then I go to hide in between some boxes while people are coming back there to get stuff to bring out to the floor. So then I wait, and then I get back out, and I see this glass case that's just flipped upside down with a whole bunch of dolls mm-hmm. just upside down, upside down. And I'm, like, freaking out because I'm like, oh, my God, those dolls. i got to try to get them. i got to try to get them. So I was, like, climbing over there, and I'm, like, text. I'm like texting your dad. Yeah. I'm like, and my dad's tell like, Mallory they have... Da, 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 da. And she wanted to come back there so bad. I did. I, I wanted mean, to see it just so like bad. Dying. I was dying at all the dolls. I was like, pull this one. Pull this one. We're taking her. We're taking her. How many? We had a whole shopping cart. We had full, full of, of dolls. dolls. And plus, we were picking dolls up for other we people. Were picking other dolls for some up. of our local yeah, doll friends. For other friends. And so. We cut. I come out of that back room and the shopping cart is full. Yeah, I was just dying. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. I couldn't believe somebody would let me go back there. Yeah, I was flipping out. I was like, "Oh my god, that doll is so cute. We got to take her home. Mm-hmm. We got to take her home." Mm-hmm. And so then we get up to the cash register. Yeah. And then at that time we had already told your dad to go on to the car because yeah. we know what we were doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We had some business we, to settle. We, were like, we don't need his we opinion. Gonna, we don't know what on, we're. You know, he you doesn't know. need to see what we're spending yeah, here. Yeah, okay? yeah. That's what we used to we do all the time like, when we okay, go to AG stores. Go on to the car. We'll be right out. <laughs> <laughs> and then he gets a notification. And then, and then the total was kind of up there, yeah. and he gets a notification from Discover that. Um, we spent that much money. That there was may, maybe it was some type of fraud. Yeah, going on yeah, they thought in it Tulsa, was fraud. Tulsa, Oklahoma, and so we were so busted. We were. We get out to the car, and he's like, <laughs> "What are you two doing?" 
<laughs> what happened? Because what exactly went on in there? Yeah, and here's the thing. I already mentioned of going to the car, dropping this up, being like, oh, I need to go to the bathroom, <laughs> going into round two, you know? Oh, and we were like, so oh. Funny. We were it was so like, funny. But we got dolls for like 40 bucks. It was insane. It was crazy. It was crazy. And they were so cute. Yes. They were perfect. They were you so know, perfect. They were, I mean, they did have their little display number on their little yes. tush, right? Yes. They yeah. they are marked like that. But they're so cute. Yeah. And I was so I was so excited. That was so much fun. It was. That it was, was crazy. That was a lot of fun. What's one of your favorite doll memories on your list? Because okay. it's your turn. Okay. my I would have to say I have a couple. Okay. okay. Well, share one of them. We'll okay. go back and forth. Okay. The first one, um, I would say getting to go to the Kansas City store, taking you. Oh, that was my next one on my list. Are you serious? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and getting to meet, making lots of friends, having all those memories of picking out dolls, going to Girl of the Year. Um, we just had so much fun and we missed that store so much. Oh my goodness. I, I still can't cry. Even, I still cry too. It's um, like we can't even go to Kansas City without without crying without in the car. We want to go. We just want to go to the store again yeah. and just have that experience. We miss so many friends. So that I would say that's the number one thing. Okay, my don't, number. Don't 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 share yet. We're going back and forth. Oh, okay. it isn't all about you, okay. mom. Okay, I'm so sorry. It's I okay. just get excited. It's okay. I get excited okay. too. Get so excited. yes, my next one is American Girl Kansas City as well. We used to go to all of the releases and events. I remember there was one release. I had to beg you to take me. Do you remember which what? one it was? Yeah. No. So it was Z's release, and Z's there was release? bad weather. Oh. And I was, was like, it snowy. No, it was like tornadoes. Tornadoes. Oh, okay. And I was like, it'll be fine. Let's go. And you're like, no, let's not. And I'm like, let's go. And I guess I really pulled y'all to take me. So we uh-huh. were in the car and we were driving through tornado warnings and the sirens. That was scary. It was, that was awful. That was don't, probably a little don't crazy. Don't pull them out. Don't do um, that. Yeah, we shouldn't have done that. Yeah, that was dangerous. But, you know, it worked out in the end. We're fine. Um, and then I loved going to, like, the special events, like the movie premieres. Those are really fun. And just, like... Just releases in general. And plus, we kind of did... Then we just had some days where we're like, well, we got up early enough. Let's go to Kansas City. Like, just like, you want to go to Kansas City today? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. We had a couple of those days, too. And yeah, it was so much fun. Okay. My my second thing, I would say, my favorite doll memory was when I got you for Christmas, Lindsay. It was for my birthday, Lindsay. Oh, that was your... That was for your birthday? Yeah. I thought I got you like four dolls yeah, for Christmas. Yeah, you got me you got me well, three dolls for Christmas. Okay, it was Jess. Jess. It was Marisol. It was. And Nikki. Nikki. Yes. Okay. I remember I found those dolls on eBay and I had been searching. I other people were out bidding me. I was getting so upset. I really had I really had a struggle with Marisol. Girl, you were obsessed with Marisol. I was obsessed. I wanted can to I, get everything for her. Can I tell them the the Chicago story of Marisol? So mom was really obsessed with Marisol. And we went to Chicago that year. I don't even know why we went to Chicago that year, but we went to Chicago that year. And um, she was looking at the girl of the years because they had this girl of the year. Back then they had this like girl of the year display with all the girl of the years in it from past um, from the past. Each doll had a case. Yes, each they doll had a case. in their own case. And I was in the Truly Me section. Well, back then it was My American Girl or whatever you want to call it now. And I just hear this alarm go off. And I'm like, <laughs> what? That's weird. And so then I just, just see Mom just running towards me. I'm like, Mom, do you hear that alarm? Are we, like, evacuating? Like, what's what's happening? She's like, I love Marisol so much. I just wanted to touch her shirt. And so I lifted the display case up and the alarm went off. I was like, oh my God, we're getting kicked out of here. Right here, right I'm now. I'm so sorry. I'm apologizing right now to everyone in Chicago. Whatever year that was, I apologize. I should have done that. That was not setting a good example. No, it was not. <laughs> Come on. Anyways, but yeah, we apologize to Chicago. Thank goodness we didn't get kicked out of that store. We might be kicked out now because of that story. But we promise we won't do anything like that again. Those were good times. <laughs> Ish. Good times? Okay. No. Oh, okay. 
Okay, so my last one that we're going to share, we limited this to three because if we didn't, we'd be talking all day about this. Mm -hmm. I, it's a tie between, I tried to pick a recent one, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's a tie between my 18th birthday trip Mm -hmm. or the girl of the year 2022 Corinne's release trip. So for my 18th birthday, we went to America Girl Chicago. Iconic. And then we went to Madison, Wisconsin, because we picked up our American Girl Benefit sale stuff. And then I got to see the headquarters. Once again, iconic. Um, literally still pinching myself to this day that I saw the headquarters. Um, so it would be that trip just because it's so memorable. And just, like, we drove. Mm-hmm. It was, like, a nine-hour drive there and back. Long, or maybe it was 12. I don't even know. It's such a long, long drive. That was nine hours to nine. Chicago. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't think it is. Yeah, it's nine hours to Chicago. Are you positive? Okay. I thought it was seven. Anyways. No, it's not <laughs> seven. Funny. I mean, if it was seven, we'd be going more often. <laughs> um, well, that's reassuring to know. Yeah, it would be that one. Or it would be the Girl of the Year trip. We went to Columbus and Charlotte, which was the last two stores I needed to go to to been to all the American Girl stores in the USA. Haven't been to Canada yet. Mom, are we going to Canada? It's seven hours and 45 minutes. Told you it was seven hours. I thought it was close to I nine. I told okay, you it was seven hours. My I think bad. nine hours is Madison. Really? Yeah. Nine hours to Madison? Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That's not too bad. Yeah. Okay. A little summer trip, maybe? <laughs> Maybe. But we'll talk about it. Okay. Yeah. I remember the girl of the year for Corinne's release, which is so iconic. I loved it. Um, I got to meet so many amazing people. That was really exciting. And also just going to the last two stores I needed to visit. Because mm-hmm. I've been to them all now, except for Canada. Which, Mom? Mm-hmm. Go to Canada? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, Mom, what's your last one before we get into listeners' stories and experiences? Okay, I would say my last uh, favorite doll memory is decorating the doll room for Christmas. Oh, that's iconic. Yes, it is. It is. Because I love doing Julie's room every year. Yeah, you, you do. You let me do Julie's room every I, year. Yeah, you do Julie's. You also do Isabelle's. And Isabelle's. I don't know. I just love. I just love the room at Christmas. I just think it's, it's so, much so fun. magical. And it is. It's a it's different so kind of vibe and air in the air. It's total chaos, though. So oh yeah. We have Christmas trees from here to the ceiling, and tubs. <laughs> we have a lot of tubs. We have a lot of tubs. Um, because it takes a lot to get I love the doll room in Christmassy shape. I do love it. It's so much fun. I feel like it's fun decorating the doll room for any season and. Getting, mm-hmm. putting stuff away and getting stuff out. I know I'm going to have to switch out the spring display to put up some beach stuff. Because right now I have Kit's Farmer's Market stand and then the Truly Me mm-hmm. City Market uh, for spring. So I'm thinking about switching that out to like Kanae Shave Ice stand, mm-hmm. maybe the Beach Cavana. Cool. I don't know. We have to see. And dress on all the dolls with yes. you. Is always fun, Mom too. Mom always helps dress me the dolls. I give her the ones with tights because I don't really <laughs> like to do the tights. They get stuck on my long nails. So, yeah, that's why I just love doing that every year with you. Okay, so now we're going to be getting into listener stories, and we're going to react to them. So on my Instagram, I asked you guys some of your most craziest, insane, or memorable doll experiences. A lot of you chose the craziest ones. Once a few years ago, we were celebrating my birthday at an AG hotel, and I was swinging Molly around in my arms when she kicked me in the face it really hurt and I was incredibly upset crying and everything and I couldn't believe Molly had kicked me in the face so my mom offered to put her in time out and I was like yes she deserves it so we put (laughs) Molly in the corner sat facing towards the wall and of course my mom and best friend's mom who was there with me Mm -hmm. were trying their hardest not to crack up and I was just so upset Oh, that is too funny. That is funny. That's I love that. I, I love that too. Oh my gosh. And I can't so ever cute. see Molly doing something like that. I know. She's so good. She's such a good girl. <laughs> Apparently not on that day. <laughs> she was, she, it wasn't. Maybe she's just having a bad day. 
For reference, my dolls stand on stacked doll boxes. Last summer, not soon after I brought my Leah doll, she was just standing on some doll boxes. At the time, most of my dolls weren't on the boxes, so it was just her and maybe three other dolls. Anyways, in the middle of the night, she must have fallen and did some sort of somersault. Since in the morning, I woke to her laying, I woke up to her finding her fat flat on her face about half a foot from the boxes i'm not sure if it could be considered oh that's so weird but at the oh i'm not sure if that could be considered weird but at the time i was uh confused on how she ended up in that position girl she must have been doing some gymnastics gymnastics it sounds like but how many times have we come down here and we heard a crash and we're like, oh my God, what was that? Something in the doll room. Yeah. And we come down and we'll find a doll face down, clear across the room. Yeah. <laughs> That's, it's crazy. And we'll say, okay, all right, who did this? Who pushed one who another? Pushed, who pushed who? Uh, the first day I got my AG doll, I brushed her head off. Oh my gosh. Oh no. That poor doll. My Caroline fell off a railing about four stories down, and she was totally fine. Oh, Girl, man, you're lucky. Yikes! Yeah, I, she I feel didn't like have a mark or something. Oh my on gosh! Her. Yeah, mine even like just fell from like the second floor of the dollhouse, and they have a mark. Like what yeah. in the world? So you got a good doll there. Waiting for my just like you for to come in the mail because UPS said that they lost her, but she came. Oh my gosh! Oh. That's amazing. I love stories like that when they're, like, you know, kind of lost but, like, not. And then they, like, show up, you know? Yeah. I remember our number four took a while to come. (laughs) I don't know what she was doing, but she took a while. Well, she came from Girl Again, right? Yeah, she came from Girl Again in New York. But, like, still, it took, like, forever. It took, like, Mm -hmm. two weeks. Like, it was crazy. And we're like, what is she doing? (laughs) She took the scenic route. Yeah, she took a (laughs) long way home. She had, like, destinations to hit. (laughs) Probably when my younger brother got my first ever AG full of mud. I oh, was so no. mad. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. And I'm that's not sure gross. what I would do to my brother if he had ever done that to one of my dolls. Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> he would be getting an earful. <laughs> uh, maybe more than just an earful. <laughs> Probably pulling the all-nighters in the store during a launch. I think we stayed up. And left at 5 a.m. That's after they were, like, setting the store up. Aww, oh, my gosh. They do. They, you could tell they put in so much when they do those store releases yes. and stuff. And the Girl of the Year. Yes. All the, like, Aww. displays and just amazingness. We wanted to go up and help them. Yes. You know, quite yes. a few times. We were like, yes. oh, we would love to come but can we come? Them. But they never let us. No. But that's okay. Uh, maybe if it, maybe now if the store is still open, <laughs> maybe we get an invite to that. AG, invite us to that as well. Oh, that's funny. My birthday at AG, turning 20, I felt so normal for loving my dolls so much. It was amazing. Oh, oh I love that. I feel like, sweet. I feel like recently they've been like more kind of accepting towards doll collectors, older mm-hmm. Doll collectors, mm-hmm. even though twenty's not really older, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, and I just love that. That's sweet. You know, they really make it like a welcoming place. You love dolls no matter what age you yes. are. Yes. You know? No matter who you are. My husband drove me to New York City to buy me a doll. Oh that's, that's so cute. Okay, my That's aunt- a good man. <laughs> My aunt calling my doll a god when I first got her. <laughs> That's cute. I love that. That's cute. I love when people stop when I'm filming outside and talk to me instead of just staring. Those are the best when you have conversations. Oh, yeah. yeah. I can't even remember how many times people would stop and talk to me when they would see you taking photos at at the silos, you know, at Magnolia. Mm-hmm. And then even in Chicago, like... I remember we were waiting to eat dinner at Cheesecake Factory or something, and you and another little girl were just, just talking about your dolls, oh, and yeah. and the us as the parents, we were talking to the other set of parents, and they're like, "Man, there couldn't be anything better than this right here," yes. you know, just watching them and react and everything and making memories. You yes, know? that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Yeah, so, making memories so with our dollies. It's the best. It's so fun. You're making friends along the way. Yes. I can't, so. like, imagine all the friends I won't have because, like, mm-hmm. I didn't have because I didn't collect dolls. Like, I don't even want to think about that. And I remember that even when we went to Biltmore, 
you were taking photos of, um, who did you take on that trip? I took 86, 86? Violet. Yeah. Okay, Violet. And there was a lady that stopped me and said, I just want to tell you that I just think that's awesome that your daughter's over there taking Aww. doll photos here. And I just, I just commend her for it. It was just so cool. Yeah. Proud mom moment. <laughs> sweet another thing that i would like to add is whenever mallory has her doll when we're going places there might be a, another girl that comes up to her that might be a little bit older than mal or maybe someone my age and they'll say you know i had a molly when i was your age or i had a julie when i was your age and it just brings people together and i i just think that's wonderful i just I just it just gives me chills almost. Aww. You know, it's just yes. so sweet and they talk about their their memories with their dolls and how how many accessories or whatever they had even if they had just one or two, mm-hmm. even if they just had one doll. You know, it just it, just it made back. such an impact and they they want to share it. I think yes. it's awesome. I love that too. I love how it brings people together and oh, I just can't describe it. Like it's so it's amazing. Fun. It's like more it than words, amazing. you know. I know it is. I totally agree. Since we read all of the memories and shared our own favorite memories, I think one thing that we do have to end with is that we're so excited to make more memories with our dolls. Exactly. And you should not be scared to take your dolls somewhere to make memories because you will you will probably not regret it. Like Because over the years and just through for different experiences, I've found people love the dolls and, um, you know, people enjoy it. So just do what you love and don't be scared to do what you love anyways so since we're so excited to continue making memories i do have to say we are going to new york and i'm so excited to go to new york like oh my god yeah this will be our second trip to new york to new yes york, like ever yes, yes so we are excited i'm a little nervous about it with mm-hmm. all the still the covid stuff but just chaos we'll just be yeah but, we'll just be careful you know it's gonna be great it'll be fun i'm it's excited gonna be fun. i do it's love be that great. store it's beautiful oh my gosh they have, like, changed it so much since we've been, too. So I'm really oh, excited to wow. see all the yeah. Julie's world, Courtney's <gasps> world. Oh, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Watch yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, we're really excited for that. And, yeah, hope to see you there. <laughs> yeah, come and see us. Guys. Yes. We'd love to see you. We'd, We'd love, love to, to meet, meet you. you. Yeah, for sure. Alrighty, everyone. We have reached the end of this episode of the Doll Mom Podcast. I want to thank my mom so much for coming on. It was so much fun having her on. I hope you all enjoyed uh, me and my mom together on here. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed coming I on the podcast. Blast. I thought it was really fun. I love talking about all the memories that we've made doing this, and we still have many more to make. Yes. So thank you for having me. You're so welcome. You're about ba- you're welcome back anytime, Mom. If okay. you want to come back, you're welcome. Okay. All right. I'll do that. So yeah, be sure to follow the Dom Mom podcast on Instagram so then you never miss an episode. Uh, subscribe to us on your favorite podcast um, listening platform so then you never miss an episode. My name is Mal. I'm Dollies and Rainbows. Check me out. I'm on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. Um, and yeah, same username, Dollies and Rainbows, all over. So be sure to give me a follow, like, and subscribe, you know? So yeah. Thank you so much, Mom, again. It was a pleasure You're having so you. And thank you so much for so listening. Fun to the Doll Mom podcast of this episode. We hope to see you back again soon.